Transitions 3 Ultimate is a powerful suite from New Blue FX that will add energy, beauty, and finesse to your project's transitions. Today, we'll be working with Adobe Premiere, but Transitions 3 Ultimate is available for most major video editing programs such as Adius, Media Composer, and Final Cut. We'll start by showing you how to find and apply a transition, run through a variety of options for customization, and of course, we'll explore a few of the templates in this collection. After downloading and installing Transitions 3 Ultimate, your new transitions are automatically added to Adobe Premiere. Find your new transitions by navigating to your Transitions folder inside the Effects tab and expanding New Blue Transitions. To apply a transition to your project, simply drag the desired transition and drop it in between two adjacent video events. This creates a new envelope between the two events, which you can then select to customize your transitions. As a reminder, some clips may not line up with the transition perfectly, so you may want to use the slide tool to pick the perfect beginning and end points for your clips. You can also drag either side of the transition envelope to make the transition longer or shorter. When a transition is selected, its options become available in the Effect Controls panel. In a minute, I'd like us to play around with some of these variables to see how they affect our transition, but first, let's check out some presets. Each transition comes with a large number of preset settings that add a huge amount of instant versatility. Just by scrolling through these presets, you get a pretty good idea of what each transition is capable of. In this case, the Absorbing Light preset seems pretty good for the lonely singer we've got in this clip, but depending on the content of the video, you may want something a little more dreamy, such as the Dreamy preset. Or if you'd prefer something a little more heavy-handed, there's Plasma Burn. With a wide variety of diverse looks, presets provide you with a convenient way to get a quick start on your design. Then, if it's not exactly what you want, you can further customize any aspect of the transition using the comprehensive set of controls. Let's say you've got a character who's going through some kind of inner turmoil. The mood is somber, and it's raining, so you'd like to use a transition capable of expressing the overall tone of the clip. Let's give Light Ring a shot and play around with some of its options. Expand its width to give it that slow, dragging feeling. In this transition, the shape slider stretches the circle either horizontally or vertically. Drag it all the way to the right to make it so vertical that it looks like walls on either side of the shot, and then check the reverse box to make it feel like the walls are closing in. Leave the center in the middle of the shot, but turn down the glow a bit to prevent it from looking too bright and cheery. As far as color goes, we could use the eyedropper to select one of the colors in our shot, but I'd rather manually change it to a nice ocean blue, and crank up the liquify settings, which will add some rippling to the effect to really accentuate the rain outside. Just like that, we've built a brand new preset that matches the mood perfectly, and if you feel like you'll be using it again and again, you can save your settings to a new template using the option at the bottom of the preset template box. Now, we've only gone through a handful of examples here, but Transitions 3 Ultimate comes with a library of transitions and presets that will give you a rich range of options to add the perfect look to your cuts. Each transition comes with a unique set of controls that can be easily adjusted, giving you endless possibilities. Now you should have a pretty good idea of the power, ease, and versatility that Transitions 3 Ultimate adds to your editing suite. To get started, visit newbluefx.com slash transitions today.